Hey guys, it's Michelle from Elegance and Enchantment, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a printable and editable invitation. You're going to need a few things to get started. The programs I'll be using are Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign, and Adobe Acrobat. If you don't have these programs, you can download free trials of them at adobe.com slash creativecloud. I'll be using this handmade document creator kit that I got from Design Cuts, which is my favorite source for fonts, graphics, basically anything that I don't want to create from scratch. And what's awesome is they bundle together a bunch of resources that are similar and give them to us at 99% off. So it's a great source if you're looking for ingredients for your projects. You can always find their latest bundle by going to eleganceandenchantment.com slash design cuts. All of the fonts used in this tutorial are free and can be downloaded from fontsquirrel.com. If you've ever watched a cooking show, you'll know that the celebrity chef always has all of their ingredients set up and ready to go before they start cooking anything. And that is exactly what I like to do for my design projects. So you can see here that I have all of the files open in Illustrator that I'm going to be using. And I have my InDesign file set up and I have the color that I am working with for this project already added to my swatches palette. So um, I started this document, just in case you don't know how to um, start a new document in Adobe InDesign. You go to File, New, Document, and then just type in the dimensions that you want. So I don't need to do that since I already have it set up. I'm gonna start off by drawing a rectangle. This is gonna be my background and selecting this pretty color that I've chosen to work with for this project. Next, I'm going to add a border to the top and bottom. So I'm heading over to Illustrator. I'm going to go to the Lines and Dividers uh, document. And I'm choosing to use this heart design because this is a little bit of a girly invitation. All I'm doing is selecting with this Direct Select tool, copying by doing Command C, and then pasting it into my InDesign document. Let's just like let it sit right along that line and I'm going to change the color to match. Next, I'm going to duplicate the heart border by clicking on it, clicking on option and then dragging it. You can also do this by copy and pasting. Um, and I like when I do things like this for them to face each other. So I'm going to hit this button here, which flips it vertically. Um, you don't need to do this, this is just my design taste. And I wanna make sure that it is sitting on the exact same line as it's sitting above. And then I'm also gonna hit this horizontal align center again to make sure that it's lined up properly. Okay, now that that's done, we can start adding some text. So I'm gonna start with drawing a text box out here and typing in the name of the party, which is Girls' Night. Let's make that a little bit bigger center it and the font I'm using for this is called Playfair which is a free font that you can get from Font Swirl and that's also just a great source to bookmark because you can use anything that is on Font Squirrel for commercial projects so anything that you sell. All right have that in place and I decided that just to make it a little whimsical and a little fun I'm going to put a little heart in between the two words. Next, I'm going to add a few more text boxes to fill in this invitation. And if you're creating something like this that you want to be editable, um, what I'm filling in now will be the part that will not be able to be changed. So basically the way you want to think about this is if it's you're creating a space where you want people to be able to type in their own text, you're going to leave it blank and everything else you are going to fill in. So next I'm going to add in a little container or space where we can fill in the details about where, when, RSVP, that kind of thing. So I've selected this shape here. I thought it was cute that it looked like a little serving tray. And same thing, I'm gonna copy and then paste it into here and I'm going to rotate it. You can rotate it by going like this. And then I'm gonna use that little center 
button again and make it just a little bit bigger so that the edges align with the girls' night text. A little bit bigger here. Okay, center it. And then I'm going to change the color to white. But you could do it just by clicking on white in the colors palette. And I want to make sure that I leave a little bit of room here at the bottom because once we get to the editable portion, um, I want to leave a space here for text to go. I'm heading over to the flags file. I'm going to pick up this one, number 19, by selecting it, copy, and paste it. Oops, don't need this. Paste it into InDesign. As you can see, it's pasting in black, but I yeah, I think I want this to be the same uh, periwinkle that I'm using here. So I'm going to create three boxes. And this will hold the titles for the where, the when, and the RSVP. The easiest thing to do if you're using the same font is to just make a copy of something that already exists, which is what I'm gonna do here by holding down Option and dragging it. And you'll see here that the text is not showing up and that's because this is sitting behind this um, flag box that I just brought up. So to bring the text box to the front, you hit Shift, Command, and then the right bracket, which is right below the Delete key, if you're on a Mac. The other way to do this is to go to Object, Arrange, and Bring to Front, which is grayed out right now because it already is in the front position. Um, now you can see it's a little big for the space, but I think once I type in When, it's gonna fit perfectly. And I just want to make sure that that is centered. And if you have your guides turned on, this makes it really easy. Now that all my boxes are in place, I'm ready to export to a high-res PDF and open it up in Adobe Acrobat. Now the fun part, we're gonna start adding our editable fields. So you wanna click on that prepare form button, hit start, and then go up to the top where you see that you can add a text box very similar to Adobe Illustrator or Adobe InDesign and drag it down to the space where you want your customer, client, reader to be able to type in their own text. And next I'm just gonna repeat the same step by creating four more text boxes for the other places on this invitation where text needs to be filled in. Once all of your text boxes are in place, it's time to start formatting it. So changing the size, the font, the color. You double click on it to open up this dialog box. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is change the name of it. This is really important so that who's ever typing it in knows what they're supposed to put in that space. Here you can see I'm making the font size a little larger and then I'm also scrolling through furiously to try to find the perfect font for this project and knowing that I have way too many on my computer. So it's taking me a little bit longer than it should. But ultimately I'm going to land on Nicolini, which is another free font that you can download from Font Squirrel. Since this is going on a blue background, I'm gonna make the font color white, but you can also change in that appearance tab. And then I'm heading over to the options tab to make a few more changes. I'm making this a multi-line option so that people can type in two lines of text, changing it to rich text formatting and also centering the alignment. And then this is the part where you have to play around a little bit. You can type in your name once you switch into preview mode and then you can toggle back and forth as you can see I'm doing in the upper right hand corner between preview and edit to make sure that the size is what you want it to be, that there's enough room, and you may even need to end up adjusting the actual text box when you're in edit mode to make sure that it's sitting in the right place. And then I'm just gonna repeat that same step for every single text box 
which includes changing the name of it, changing the color, the font, the font size, the alignment to be centered, and also to allow for rich text formatting and to allow for multi-line. And with that, my invitation is complete and ready to be sent out to my friends. If you're looking for more tutorials like this one and want to download the free template that I use to create this invitation, head over to elegantsandenchantment.com tutorials.